Last Sunday afternoon, we decided to go on a thrilling walk along the river. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and our spirits were high. Did you know that ivy prevents nettle stings? You either make them into a plaster, or you could tear them and rub it on them, or without tearing them and rubbing them on the nettle sting. If you get stung by a nettle, so you can only touch a nettle with this part of your whole body. Not this part, not this part, this part, or you'll get stung. After our exciting walk, we stumbled upon a magnificent castle. And guess what? There we had a delightful cup of tea and some mouth-watering cakes. As we sat there savouring our tasty treats, completely lost in the joy of the moment, a sudden buzzing sound caught our attention. Out of nowhere, a mischievous swarm of bees decided to join our tea party. It was a bee emergency. We had no choice but to abandon our cakes and make a swift escape. It turns out I knew just how to remedy a nettle sting. But I was clueless when it came to bee stings. Remember, my friends, it's always better to be safe than sorry.